Okay, any minute now, we expect some tough questions at the White House press briefing over the Benghazi attack and what the White House knew specifically. The attack on the U.S. diplomatic post in Benghazi last September 11th killed four Americans, including the ambassador to Libya, Christopher Stevens. Are you looking right now? Let's show you some live picture of the briefing room. Obviously, this is proof that we are monitoring the situation. Republican criticism is mounting following a week of hearings uh, that got very heated on this topic. Critics like House Speaker John Boehner are accusing the State Department of using fake talking points about how the attack went down to protect President Obama's re-election campaign. And he wants the State Department to release emails. Now, the initial report blamed the attack on demonstrators angry over an incendiary anti-Islam YouTube video. Current top diplomat in Libya, Gregory Hicks, testified on Tuesday. He said there was no demonstration. He said there was an early report that the attack was coordinated by Islamic terrorists. So information keeps coming out. People start debating it. Uh, there's reporting from the Weekly Standard and ABC News that shows the administration did help edit the talking points about the Benghazi attack on 12 different occasions. What does that mean? Is that a lot? What was the nature of those changes? That's what they're trying to figure out. And it wasn't just written by the intelligence community, but there was a lot of input from the State Department as well. So let's bring in uh, Chief Political Analyst Gloria Borger joining me down there from Washington, D.C. Let's begin with this. When something like this comes, the first thing we want to say is, well, this is partisan. This is right going left. At this point, isn't it fair to say, Gloria, this goes beyond partisan picking? I think it does. I think it's sort of a window into the way Washington works, particularly when you're in the heat of a, of a presidential election year. Let's take a step back, okay, Chris? Just set the scene. Uh, you're, you're in the fall campaign. There is a terror attack, as we now know it, on September 11th. The State Department has been asked, as the administration's been asked, by the Congressional Intelligence Committees to provide them talking points. So when they're asked questions about this, they can actually talk about it with some amount of knowledge. What we're seeing in all of these emails going back and forth is the process at work, which is ugly, about how these talking points came to be and, in fact, ended up, you see, uh, you, you see Ambassador Rice there, and ended up to be used by her uh, on her famous round of Sunday uh, talk shows. Right, but and Gloria. what we see in this process is that these talking points were edited to the point of inaccuracy. And right, the question okay, so is, is that a cover-up? Is it a whitewash? You know, we don't know the answer to that. I know, and you took my question. That's exactly what I was going to ask you, right? Because that's okay. what this gets to. Twelve, what is the context? It sounds like a lot, but we have to know so the nature and the purpose of what those changes were, right? And so how do we get that context. information? Okay, so here's the context. Over at the CIA, they're looking at some of these uh, points, which include mention of al-Qaeda. And mm -hmm. there is a sense from some at the CIA, you know what, we don't want to tip anybody that we're investigating al-Qaeda on this, so let's take out some of the references to al-Qaeda. What the CIA left in, apparently, was the sort of broader context of al-Qaeda in Benghazi, in that part of the world. Those were eventually edited out. And there is an email obtained by ABC News from uh, someone at the State Department which asks, why should we leave that in? Because, quote, it could be abused by members of Congress to beat up the State Department for not paying attention to warnings. So clearly, from a State Department official asking the question, why are we going to give members of Congress information don't forget, in an election year, which they could turn around and beat us up with. And um, that's how you see this uh, evolving. Everybody's got a different right. reason for editing it, and they edit it down to something that's totally, uh, turns out to be, in fact, untrue. Well, look, untrue, obviously, uh, would be the bar of it being completely unforgivable, but simply playing politics with a situation where you need to know what happened. We lost lives there also winds up making this go past the line of politics. It's